Well, one of the top boxers in the world lives in trains in Northeast Kansas, and you may not even know it. We introduce you to undefeated champion Marcus Oliveira. Packing a punch might be an understatement when you describe Marcus Oliveira. He's a boxer puncher, definitely. You can't hit him, but when he hits you, you either wake up in the locker room or, you know, you wake up sitting, you know, on your butt. Some call him the Manam Phenom. He's part Puerto Rican and part Native American. The 33-year-old boxing champion grew up on the Menominee Indian Reservation in Kashina, Wisconsin, and came to Kansas where he played basketball at Haskell Indian Nations University in Lawrence. You always see a few of these in your lifetime. He's always been one of those athletes that's just exceptional. He's currently ranked 14th by the World Boxing Council and 12th by the World Boxing Association. He's a proud owner of the WBA's Federal Light Heavyweight title, a fight he won via a first-round knockout in Venezuela. It was a good experience, you know, going to uh, Venezuela to fight. That was my first time fighting out of country, and uh, it was great. Uh, the training was a lot harder than the fight. Marcus sustained a foot injury in 2010, which kept him out of the ring for more than a year and forced him to miss a nationally televised bout on HBO. But now he's back. He holds a 24-0 record with 19 knockouts as a professional. You know, all the big names that you hear about on HBO, I was in the same Olympics with them guys, so, you know, I feel that, you know, I'm on the same level as everyone else. After competing in more than 200 amateur fights, Marcus turned pro in 2006. Two years ago, he signed with legendary boxing promoter Don King. He's hard to hit, but... He's like a sniper, man. He, he gets one shot off, he's gonna, you're going to know you got hit. He's a husband, father, living on the prairie band Potawatomi Nation in Mayetta, where he works full-time. Plus, he trains in Topeka as well as Lawrence. The dedication speaks for itself. And when you're that committed and you're that determined, you know, success is bound to come. What's next for Marcus Oliveira? Well, he's preparing to meet one of the top-ranked fighters in the light heavyweight division. Even going up against title holder Tavares Cloud is not out of the question. There's still room to go, and he's capable of beating anybody out there, in my opinion. Well, best of luck to him in the future. Yeah, so many successful people to come out of the Sunflower State. That's really neat. Definitely true. All right, thanks, Alex. We were